So in this video we're going to look at household bills and when you do these types of questions they're really just common sense uh, questions and where most people get stuck are when they bring percentages into play. So in this video we're just going to look at the three types of percentages you can be given and we've spoken about this before so we'll go straight into the examples. Example 1, Joe received an electricity bill for $361.44 answer the following questions. So it says if Joe pays the bill on time, he gets a 15% discount on his bill. How much will he need to pay if he pays the bill on time? All right, so we need to calculate what is 15% of $361.44 because that's the discount he's going to be given. And when we look at the three types of percentage questions, this is the first one, calculating the percentage of an amount. And here's our formula. So our formula says to take the the percentage divide by 100 and times by the amount. All right, so our percentage is 15, we're going to divide by 100, and the amount is $361.44. Okay, 15 divide 100 times 361.44 comes out to $54, and we're going to have to round this to the nearest cent, so we'll go $54.22. Sense. Now we're not quite done. Um, this is the discount that Joe gets, um, and the, it'll be discounted from the total bill. So we've just got to go 361.44 minus $54.22, uh, 361.44 minus 54.22, comes out to 300 and seven dollars and 22 cents and and that's what his bill will be after the discount all right so we'll move on to question b now and it says last quarter joe had a bill for 289 dollars 33 and it wants you to calculate the increase in electricity costs from last quarter as a percentage all right and this is type two in our percentage questions, which is calculating an amount as a percentage of the total. And I know that because it wants an answer as a percentage, and that's this type of question. The formula being amount over total uh, times 100. So let's write that down. Amount over total times 100. Okay, so we need to figure out what the amount is. And the amount, the thing at the top, is the increase in electricity costs. So the increase, I mean, it went from $289.33 and increased to $361.44. So to calculate our increase, we need to um, subtract them from each other. What do we get with that? So 361.44 minus 289.33. And that comes out to uh, $72.11. So the bill has increased by about $70. And we've got to write this as a percentage. So our amount goes at the top, the amount it increased by, and our total at the bottom. Now, a lot of people get confused with the total. Is it the total of the bill from last quarter, or is it the total of the new bill? And if you read the question, it says calculate the increase from last quarter. So last quarter is the cheaper price. So that's the total that goes at the bottom and we're going to times by 100. And when I, I know I write it as a fraction, but it's actually better to say divide. So we're going to go 72.11 divide 289.33 times 100. And it comes up about 24.9% um, 20, um, it's, that's an approximate, it, I've sort of rounded the decimal, so we can put a little dot above and below the equal sign, which just means that it's approximately 24.9%. Uh, um, now we're going to finish there and we're going to do question C in the next video.